Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to clean an active aqua pump. This pump is doing really well. It's a um, it's an AAPW 800 uh, 800 gallon per hour pump. It says there Q max is 793 gallons per hour, um, and it was working great. Water was just gushing out, uh, and now it's just not coming out about half, I'd say. Anyway, pull this off. You just turn it. There's a little locking mechanism here. And it comes out. And there's a little little rubber uh, sort of a bearing. And then there's a little washer. A rubber or plastic or something type of washer. And then your mag drive comes right out. Yep. Shaft. <laughs> And the mag drive. It just comes out, and you can see how gunky that is. And I'm assuming that's my problem. I'm hoping that's my problem. So um, I'm going to take it inside. I'm going to clean it all out with some uh, uh, mild soap and water, and clean up the mag drive and put it all back together. And we'll see if I have better results. All right, back to it. It was pretty gross. It was pretty gunky. Um, surprisingly, though, all of the material that I found in there, it, both inside the pump here and on the impeller and around the mag drive portion of it, um, the magnet, um, it was just really super fine sludge. So I, I don't honestly don't even think a filter would have would have helped. It was nothing big. Um, so anyway, when I pulled this out. The first time you saw me pull it out, and the shaft came out. Here's the shaft. Um, and this, I think, I believe that's ceramic. Uh, so you don't want to break. You don't want to drop it and break it because that would suck. <laughs> um, so don't drop it like I did. Uh, so that shaft just goes in the middle there, and there's still a little bit. There's a little bit of gunk in the hole still. Um, but anyway, this, the reason that came out is it popped off the. Uh, the bearing on the on the other end that you saw when I first took it apart. Huh, still kind of I couldn't really clean out that hole very well, but anyway, that's most of it. So again, a little plastic uh, or, or rubber or something type of washer there, and then there's two bearings. They're both the same. Looks like I hope. Okay, that goes in like that. And then this one on here, and this one on here. Okay, and there's a little bit of play. And then uh, this bearing fits into a little hole on the, the inside. And what's neat is this, I mean, it's because it just pulls right in it because it's magnetic drive, you know. So it's kind of neat. It's like it's really even hard to turn against the magnets you gotta get it past there and it's just flipped around it's kinda cool anyway it comes apart real easy I was really happy now you don't even need any tools so it's just a matter of uh, putting it in the right way getting it lined up gotta get that shaft lined up so it fits in that little hole and that's it. And once it's in, you just turn the lock mechanism in place, and it felt good and tight. So here's the pump flow before cleaning the pump. Here's the pump flow after cleaning the pump. You can see it's uh, quite a bit more. Now the water's spraying like that because I have a venturi set up. Um, so. There it is. They're cleaning the pump. I absolutely work.